Welcome to London. I'm currently heading to London Heathrow on the London Tube. I just love it how easily Heathrow is reached with public transport. Currently I'm walking to my gate, which is gate 23 for this flight. It is definitely not the shortest walk. With about 20 minutes from security, gate 23 is not even halfway down the terminal. This does make you realize how big Heathrow actually is, and how many passengers it can handle. Security was not too fast either. There was a long line at the standard economy queue. I used the fast track security, which I'm allowed to use due to my frequent flyer status, but it still took about 15 minutes to get through. This is her, PHBXZ, flew his first flight in February of 2008 and delivered to KLM less than a month later, making it 14 years old already. Normally, KLM boards in zones 1 through 5, although most airports, including Heathrow, choose to board in two zones. First, the sky priority zones 1 and 2, and after that the economy zones 3, 4 and 5. This creates one short line and one very long line. I upgraded to an economy comfort seat, which is very different than standard economy with the new interior. The seat features a device and cup holder, which is exclusive to the comfort seat, and of course an adjustable tray table. In the seat pocket in front of you, you can find a paper bag featuring the beautiful KLM logo. and the safety instruction card for the 737-800 and Dash 900. My seat and the seat next to me did not include the Holland Herald magazine, sadly. With the new KLM interior, all seats now include a USB charging port, which is a huge upgrade. And of course, the most important part of the comfort zone is the legroom. As you can see, I'm able to fit my whole hand between my knee and the seat. Just for reference, I am 1 meter 75 or 5 foot 9, so the legroom is great. After boarding this almost full flight, it was time to depart our gate. London Heathrow is not only big, but also very busy. According to Flightradar24, it took us exactly 22 minutes to taxi from the gate to the runway. Luckily for you, I'm able to cut and speed up the footage for you, so you don't have to wait 22 minutes to get in the sky. After a beautiful view of Greater London, the seatbelt sign switched off and the crew quickly began service. As this flight is only 45 minutes, the service is limited to a bag of crisps and a bottle of water. There were no other drinks on board for economy passengers. 
Earlier I said there was no magazine on board, but there is Wi-Fi on board. All passengers are able to enjoy free messaging Wi-Fi during the whole flight. Or paid packages, which are the surf pass for 8 euros or the stream pass for 12 euros. I kept it short and simple with a free pass. More is not needed on this short flight. After a short service, we started our descent into Amsterdam. Sadly, the seatbelt sign was switched on during most of the flight due to turbulence. Nevertheless, enjoy this dark but clear approach into Amsterdam. And we have arrived into Amsterdam. Arriving late in Amsterdam at the D gates is not fun. You have to walk all the way over to the F gates for passport control. And that is the only one open. This is about a 10 minute walk. After passport control, you are lucky if you have a carry on only. Else, you have to walk another 5 to 10 minutes over the European baggage belt. Eventually, I did make it though and I enjoyed this flight very much. Everything at both airports was located far from the gate itself, which is quite annoying. Boarding was not done in zones and therefore pretty inefficient. All this was compensated by the amazing flight. The crew were very welcoming. The service for this short hop was good. There was Wi-Fi and an USB port to charge your phone. The seat was good, amazing even. Good leg room, an additional device and cup holder and designed very nicely with a new KLM Sky interior. I'd like to thank you for joining me on this short 45 minute trip to Amsterdam. If you have any pointers for me, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to not miss any upcoming reviews. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.